Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome to Fight Business. Let's go ahead and continue our story game here. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. So we're in Africa here as Mr. Nathan Drake. He's accompanied by his brother, Mr. Samuel Drake, and his friend, Mr. Sullivan. So it seems like they're all getting along very nicely. Mr. Samuel Drake and Mr. Sullivan did have a quick conversation when Mr. Na Nathan, Di Mr. Nathan Drake was not around about why they're both there. And Mr. Sullivan did mention that he wants to look out for Mr. Nathan Drake and uh, Mr. Samuel Drake is really uh, complimenting with Mr. Sullivan's conversations such as the conversation that they had in the plane where he also resisted a little bit resisted, res resisted a little bit and uh, taking the side of Mr. Sullivan when he was a little skeptical skeptical about continuing the treasure hunt and now they're all on board because Mr. Nathan Drake told them the whole story about what's uh, uh, obviously whatever he deduced from his investigations that he has done in Scotland and earlier and the vast experience of treasure hunting that he has with his wife and uh, he should know that his wife will send something if she hasn't already Guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay and the commentary. So I think Mr. Nathan Drake has to get back in the car, in the Jeep, to continue the uh, treasure hunt. So they're in Africa, in the woods, where there's no civilization it, it looks like because when he was talking on the phone with his wife Elena there were some uh, cars going by there were a few buildings the plane was getting off right at the dock uh, the plane was landed right at the dock so there was some movement there but over here it just looks like a like an empty area here just some just nature nothing else just nature the wind is blowing you can even hear the wind so let's go ahead and and as you guys can clearly see that the the, the jeep is pretty much uh, dirty because if you look at the windshield it's filled with mud because uh, Mr. Nathan Drake has been driving around in the mud in the Get mountains in the rocks. So let's go ahead and continue with our story here. And just keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. On. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Slip and slide. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere fast. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, apparently Mr. Uh, Avery left uh, some kind of a course for the uh, other pirates to pass so that they could all hide their treasure together or something. Anyway, so they must have picked that one coin up to be able to know where they're going in Madagascar. So that's how uh, they're going. And on that coin, there's a picture of a volcano. So they're uh, going to that volcano, or if, uh, or what? There was one at a time, but uh, it, it, this is uh, right now in the jeep. It just looks like uh, Mr. Nathan Drake is having a little bit of trouble finding his way. But they're just trying to go uh, where that volcano was once to be. 
Apparently there's a tower next to it too. So that's where uh, Mr. Nathan Drake, Mr. Sullivan, and Mr. Samuel Drake are heading towards. Please enjoy. While we figure out which way this jeep is gonna go. tracks someone came up this way hey look up there on the hill got a tower or something now we're talking What were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Let me go through this. Oh, oh gee. shit. This slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <laughs> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So, maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our 
Darth Car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. How to do it? Whoa, whoa. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch, totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. Be right hey. back, fellas. Hey, kid. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Yeah, guys, while the team of Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Nathan Drake, and Mr. Samuel Drake holds their thought, go ahead and like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Definitely enjoy the view and feast your eyes like Mr. Nathan Drake said. It's just mountains and sand and nature and grass and trees and just a lot of mud. Africa, ladies and gentlemen, Madagascar. Let's get back into the Jeep and drive uh, off-road on this mud area on the mountains on the rocks on the hills on the mud okay Sully I'm all ears oh good got it poor oppressed pirates all they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace no no they wanted to live as free men well if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society you could do a lot worse than here Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Damn. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it's still taking a long time. As you guys may have noticed, Mr. Sullivan is complaining just a little bit. Uh, earlier he was complaining about his spine after Mr. Nathan Drake drove over a ledge. And now he's saying it's taking a long time, even though Mr. Samuel Drake is explaining to him that they've got it easy. Those pirates who have just gotten their hands crushed in uh, traps and just died for Avery or for some other reason. They did it with charts and looking at stars, and they've got cell phones, which isn't working because they haven't, they don't have signal. But Mr. Nathan Drake, can, Mr. Nathan Drake can read paper map. And uh, let's see if we can continue this story here, ladies and gentlemen. Brace for impact. 
wants to do that again? No? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? Well, that's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. No oh, shit. You do have the drop on. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Yeah, guys, definitely be a lead. Take the lessons from the, uh, I guess, Mr. Nathan Drake's book. He's saying, you know, hey, yeah, follow my lead. So, yeah, guys, definitely be a lead. Be a leader. And it looks like there's a gentleman with a sniper there as well. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this watchtower that Mr. Na uh, that Miss Nadine's uh, men have taken over here Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nathan Drake did not bring guns again. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We don't set up. It's like you're gonna point them. Oi! Got eyes on him! Sniper, watch him! Actually, he did bring one pistol. Uh, I missed when he took it out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nathan Drake is gauging the situation, just seeing how he wants to handle it. it 
we just want to see if uh, we can do some Spider-Man stuff here. Ladies and gentlemen, so it seems like Mr. Sully, even with the spine, he was also fighting. Subscribe ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video. That's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Let's check out this file. Just 
just wanted to check out the uh, top of the tower here. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail. Was this one of the towers? that one of Mr. Henry Avery's pirates took care of did that belong did this tower belong to one of Mr. Henry Avery's pirates we don't know and nobody cares all right guys this is going to do it for this video ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen stay tuned for the next video like comment subscribe Peace out.